Welcome to the Mississippi Minute. Today, Lieutenant Governor Tate Reeves was back on the campaign trail, traveling around northeast Mississippi and joining folks in the great weather. Tate kicked off the day at Sandy's Place at the bottom in Alcorn County for the annual rooster run. He spoke to the crowd about his commitment to protecting Mississippi's values if elected governor and asked for their support in their prayers. Later in the day, Tate met with the people of the Houston and Ozark communities in Itawamba County. Speaking to the crowd, he discussed the state's economic and educational progress in the past eight years under conservative leadership. Mississippi today has the most people working than at any time in the history of our state. Mississippi today has the lowest unemployment rate than at any time in the history of our state. Afterwards, Tate joined folks in Tippa County for a fish fry. Enjoying the great weather at Tippa Lake, he introduced himself to everyone and discussed his campaign to keep Mississippi moving forward. In other news, Mississippi candidates recently filed their campaign finance reports for May. On the Republican side, candidates Bill Waller and Robert Foster reported raising just under $200,000 and $35,000 in May, respectively. For the Democrats, Jim Hood reported a little over $200,000 as his fundraising total for the month. It was also revealed in Hood's finance report that he received $20,000 from a California millionaire who was a top donor to Hillary Clinton's super PAC, Priorities USA Action. Until next time, live from the campaign trail, I'm Renee Easy with the Mississippi Minute.